Hey, good morning, self lovers. It's Katie here with Couple with Katie. I have remembered my cup of tea today. Actually, I've got coffee. Coffee. And this most amazing mug. It's so awesome. It keeps my coffee hot for like three hours. It's brilliant. So I can just slowly sip on it and last all morning. Uh, so today for my Couple with Katie session, I'm going to let a few of you join because I think there's a few of you going to join. I'm, uh, I'm responding to some requests because when I was doing my, I was doing these, these shows uh, every single morning for many, many weeks during the beginning our first lockdown. And then I was doing, oh, I can't even remember the schedule, but every Monday morning and I was often including tapping sessions, which is EFT, emotional freedom technique which is a really cool way of tapping um, pressure points on your body to connect with and kind of release certain emotions. And essentially, the way I approach it is replacing fear with love. Fear with love, fear with love. And I think with what's going on in the world, we need a lot of that at the moment, don't we? And a lot of people said, oh, I miss your Monday morning tapping sessions. So I thought we'd do a quick tapping session today and it's an opportunity for you just to very practically bring into awareness and to fully acknowledge how you're feeling and to love and accept yourself no matter what is going on. So this isn't, we're not trying to fix everything, fix anything, we're not trying to change anything. We're just, I'm just allowing you to connect with what is and to remind yourself that even though I feel, you know, fill in the blank, I completely love and accept myself and we can do that through the tapping and connecting in with our body. So if you're here live, say hello. If you're watching the replay, can just type in hashtag replay and uh, feel free to share with me and comment in any way and I will respond to you. If you're here live, uh, let me know, say hi and, and maybe let me know how you're feeling and perhaps I can use how you're feeling with our tapping session today. So I could actually introduce what's going on for you into our session. Uh, Lindy, if you're still here, it says to me that you're watching. Hello. And maybe just share with me, like, share with me one emotion that you're feeling today and I can bring that into the tapping session. And, uh, and I'll just guide you through a little process. And I'm gonna use some fairly um, generic uh, emotions this morning that will and I don't I haven't even written a list of what they're going to be, but I'll kind of just feel into it and uh, and we'll just run through a tapping session, you know, several times and you can follow on. And if you're watching the replay, I invite you before you start the tapping, maybe just press pause. Feeling low. OK, beautiful, Lindy. I'm sorry you're feeling low and let's work with that today. So that's beautiful. Thank you. Anybody else joining live, if you want to just type in how you're feeling right now and I'll introduce that into this tapping session. Uh, but if you are watching the replay, then press pause now. Just feel into what is it that I would like to connect with and release. What do I feel like I'd like to clear out today? What needs my love? What needs my attention? And just choose, you know, a couple of emotions and then you can work with that in the tapping session. All right. So the points that we're going to be working with, we've got the sort of karate chop point here. You can use, I tend to use all four fingers. I, then I feel like I'm kind of definitely covering the point. So we're cut doing the karate chop point. We're going to do the inside of your eyebrow just here. And we're going to do the outside of the side of your eye. We're going to do here. And then we're going to do under your eye, under your eye here, under your nose, under your chin. I'm looking at my little cheat sheet here, under your chin. Collarbone, I quite like doing both collarbones actually. Collarbones, ah. and then under your arms, you could do one side. I like doing both sides, under your arms, and then the top of your head. Okay, so they're the points we're gonna be working with. All right, so we're gonna start with the karate chop point. Lindy, I'm gonna start with what you shared, all right? Here we go. Okay, repeat after me and just follow me. Even though I feel low, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel low, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel low, I completely love and accept myself. Even under the eye, even though I feel low, 
I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel low, top of the lip, I completely love and accept myself. On the chin, even though I feel low, I completely love and accept myself. Collarbones, even though I feel low, I completely love and accept myself. Under the arms, even though I feel low, I completely love and accept myself. Top of the head, the last one, even though I feel low, I completely love and accept myself. So Kendra's saying I'm in fear. All right, so we're gonna start karate chop point. Even though I'm fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Eyebrow, even though I am fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm fearful, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Kellyanne, if you've got an emotion you want me to work with, type it in and I will. Even though I feel anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Anybody else joining, if you've got an emotion you want me to work with, I'll help you tap through it now. Even though I feel anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Anybody else joining live, just type in the emotion you want me to work with and I'll add it to the tapping. Even though I feel anxious, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't feel like a great parent, I completely love and accept myself. Okay, I'm gonna work with stress now. Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. Anyone joining live, if you wanna add your emotion, I'll add it to today's tapping. Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. 
Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. And you can replace any of these words with whatever's going on for you. Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. So even though I feel fill in the blank, you completely love and accept yourself. Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel stressed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel overwhelmed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel overwhelmed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel overwhelmed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel overwhelmed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel overwhelmed. Hi Helen, let me know how you're feeling today and we'll tap it out. I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel overwhelmed, I completely love and accept myself. If you're joining live, let me know how you're feeling and we'll tap it out. Even though I feel overwhelmed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel overwhelmed, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel overwhelmed, I completely love and accept myself. Let's work with feeling a bit flat. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel flat, I completely love and accept myself. <sighs> even though I'm being judgmental. Oh, hold on, on the hand, on the hand, karate chop. Even though I'm being judgmental, I completely love and accept myself. And the judgment might be for yourself or others. Even though I'm being judgmental, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm being judgmental. I completely love and accept myself. You could also add, I'm willing to be shown how not to. <laughs> Even though I feel judgmental, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel judgmental, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel judgmental, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel judgmental, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel judgmental, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel judgmental, I completely love and accept myself. Just feeling into what the last one will be. What's the last one we can work with? Okay, even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, I completely love and accept myself. 
even though I think I have to be perfect all the time. I completely love and accept myself. Even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, I completely love and accept myself. How are you guys feeling, by the way? Even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, I completely love and accept myself. <sighs> and just sit with your hands on your lap, palms facing up, eyes closed. And just breathe deep down into your belly. Just feel the resonance of the tapping throughout your body. Notice how you feel now compared to how you felt before we begun. Maybe you feel more in your body. Helen's saying she's smiling and enjoying this. Yeah, like I find it a really great way to just kind of bring myself back into my body and kind of feel like I can, I feel my soul kind of sit in my body. <laughs> and I feel like I'm in full acknowledgement of everything without judgment. It's like, even though I think I have to be perfect all the time, even though I judge myself, even though I judge others, even though I'm feeling a bit flat, I'm not all high vibe today, <clears throat> even though I'm feeling a bit run down, even, even though, even though, even though, there's so many, right? Even though I'm stressed, even though I'm overwhelmed, even though I don't think I'm a great enough parent, all this stuff is going on in our heads all the time. And we aren't loving ourselves in that moment. We are judging ourselves. And I feel like tapping, you know, I don't know how long we've been on for, but in just a few minutes, we can just take some time to connect with our, our emotions, fully acknowledge where we're at without judgment, without trying to fix it, without trying to change it, just be with it. And while being with it at the same time, we can completely love and accept ourselves. It doesn't have to be an either or. And through the loving and accepting of ourselves, it's like, you're just shining a light and I feel like nothing can survive under the light of pure unconditional love and acceptance. And so without trying to fix anything or without trying to change anything, with just being with it and throwing love and light on it, it will naturally dissipate and we naturally feel better. Um, Kellyanne saying she feels a lot calmer. Yeah, Helen was saying she's smiling. And it makes me feel quite smiley and calm and grounded as well. And there's something about just touching my body that feels good. You're welcome, Lindy. I mean, at the end of it, you might even just want to give yourself a hug and just like a really mindful, connected, like close your eyes and just hold yourself for a minute. Actually feel your hands on your body. Sometimes it feels nice just to hold your face, just to cup your face. You know, as you would with a small child, you kind of just, I do it to my son all the time, I'm like, hold his face. Just, it just feels so delicious. And sometimes it's nice to do that for ourselves, just that, that physical touch. It's lovely and it's grounding and it's reassuring and we can do that for ourselves. I think that's really important. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed that little tapping session and it's something, it's a really great tool that you can use for yourself anytime. It's a great way to connect in with your emotional state and bring love and acceptance to it. Yeah. Thank you for the thumbs up, Kellyanne. Nice to see you. Lovely to have you all. Um, I will be back again on Wednesday with something else to chat about, but uh, here's uh, cheers from me with my coffee. Have a lovely day, have a lovely week, and yeah, I'll see you Wednesday. All right, Mwah. lots of love. Bye.